Hello friends, welcome to Cool IT Help. The agenda of this video tutorial is very clear. We are going to import external Excel data for test cases in Tosca. I'm going to explain you what action items we are going to do right here. So the first thing we will see how to convert a test case into a template. So the benefit of template is if you want to create the multiple instances of the test cases with different data you want to perform this will be helpful and this activity we can do with the help of external excel file in the excel file we can define the instance count instance name and the data for our form fields for our test cases so this excel file this microsoft external excel file will work as a external data source and this will help us to initialize our test cases instances right so we will see all these things here one by one let's begin so first let me open a image so this will help you to understand our target what we are going to achieve so the first thing we will see how to create this kind of data source excel file and uh, what are the standard format and how we can arrange the data as well as the object name for our test cases in the excel on the left hand side i have created one example like uh, the one test case so i have converted into the template then we are going to create the instance with the help of provided input data source excel which in which we have defined the number of test cases right also the corresponding data for the fields and we have the facility simply with the click we can create the instance of the test cases with different data for our multiple test cases with the help of this excel file i hope the concept is clear to you so we will see everything as practical here okay let me go back to the notepad in the first step first i will explain you how to create and we will understand the microsoft excel format in which we have arranged the data right this is the most important thing let me open the prepared excel file so this is the input excel data source file which you need to create the instance of your test cases right if you see the column a here you can see the first row so in the first row we have given this name object okay so object will be on the right hand side so object what are the objects objects are our test cases name look at the column f g h and so on so the test case name the test case object name you can start giving from the column f g and h this is the fixed format and the tosca framework will always read from the column f right let me show you the comparison and what will happen when this excel will be used as an input data source on the left hand side on the image you can see the three instances will be created and what are those instances which are defined here from the column f then going to the column g h i j k and so on if you have n number of objects and you want to create those test cases then you have to start from the column f then go to the right side f g h i j k and so on right in this way in the first row you will give give the object name of your test cases in the column a you can see the second row the second row is the form name right so the structure that we have here in the tosca this is our uh, project like motorcycle under this we have one test case which is create motorcycle code right 
so this is the complete flow and we will move through the different forms like main menu vehicle data insurance data product data price option send quote right in this forms we have several fields correct so we are going to make an arrangement so this will be easy to read and understand so the same arranger we will set inside the excel as well let me open the excel and then you can correlate the arrangement see this this is the form main menu so we have put the name in the column a then the field name we are using from the column b okay so form name will go in the column a and the field name will go in the column b but from the next line right and the value for this field under the different cases given in the column f g and h in the same way we have vehicle data form and we have different fields right so for every field you have to give the variable in the b column so i am using three fields for example but there are more fields so you have to put all fields in the b column so the form name is vehicle data in the column a then in the second row use the column b and start with the field name like make model cylinder capacity and the corresponding value for these field for different cases given in column f g and h i hope you understood this thing this is pretty simple and easy format in the excel to put the data right okay once you are ready with the excel the next thing you have to do go to your test case do right click and select this option convert to template within a second you will see a t icon will appear on your test case that means now your test case became a template right now you are ready to create the instance but before doing that we need to perform one more step we need to link that excel go to the top icon link data source and this pop up will appear so select the excel file that we have just prepared okay and within a second you will see the details under the drop down select the appropriate worksheet and then click okay now this is 99% ready the 1% the one thing which is pending we need to do okay so this is the thing where we will create the instance so expand the test case now this is the template but we need the variable value for every test case instances for these fields so we have to put the expression in this value field right just double click and we are going to write the expression which will read the corresponding value for this field for the test case right curly braces excel then you will see this options select the main menu then you will get the field because we are working on the form main menu and we need to refer the motorcycle field so we have arranged the data in this way that's why we are getting this so the writing of the expression will be easy if you put the data in the right format in the excel file right so this expression is ready now this is very clear and very simple expression right the same thing the same expression we will pay, prepare for the other fields in other forms as well now come to this make right double click in front of this value field put the curly braces type excel then bracket and select vehicle data put dot then use the keyboard down key and select the field like make so we want to read the make field from the excel in the same way we will read the value for this model field i hope uh, everything is getting very clear uh, as we are proceeding in this tutorial so this is very easy thing it is very clear to understand 
this is the expression which will read the excel file and will read the corresponding value for this field right once we are done we will do the same activity for the other fields in this form as well and for the other forms as well right once we are ready okay now we can see how to create the instance simply do the right click click on these three dots you will get this second option click on it and wait for a few seconds okay then you will see this pop-up box everything is set simply you have to click on the ok button and then you will get a confirmation message you want to instantiate click yes okay after one second you will see one node will appear on the left hand side tree when you expand it you will find the three instances of our test case created and the data populated as we have defined in the excel for these fields like we have given the value for this field was motorcycle now we'll check for the make also getting the value from the excel file and the model field also getting the value same way we can verify the test case 2 the value is coming from the excel file properly so friends we have seen the setup how to convert a test case into a template and then when we need to instance when we need to create the instance from this template for our test cases we can use the excel file as input data source and we need to define the data inside the excel I hope you guys clear on this concept if you find this video tutorial relevant and useful please hit the like button and please subscribe to support us and for now thanks for watching cool it help